Lung cocky. <laughs> Record. Yep. <laughs> oh, I guess we're back. It started with her snort. <laughs> the fuck is that man? <laughs> fucking <Yeah>. demonic. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at you. You're I... scratching yourself like you're coming off some shit. Cause I'm itchy, bro. I've been telling you this for the past half hour. Then fucking take a shower, it you gave, nasty bitch. You gave me a, bis- b- b- <laughs> a disease when a you disease. me with a sponge. Yeah, she's not lying. She gave me a banana. My child has my blood disorder, and they were sharing blood for so many months that she's kind of been stuck with the symptoms ever since. Well, maybe she just has scabies. No, I seriously gave her a hot transfusion of this dick (laughs) and this disease. (laughs) This diseased dick. Hey, I'm afflicted and big dicted. Yeah, it's because your mouth's full. I played the seventh <laughs> inches. Man, don't I sound like a pig? Ink, ink, ink. Where'd my drink go? God damn it! We drank it. Remember? <laughs> no, there's one right there. It's halfway full, but we drank it. <laughs> she tried to. Is that the baby? No, uh, it's just the cat needing murder. <laughs> oh, bro! Imagine how it's gonna be in like a year when y'all just chilling in here and you see the door open and a fucking little human walks in. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to be terrified. Actually, that already happens when she's trying to nap. She's trying to get the cat. Getting ran away. Yeah, she's there's already. no getting her once she's in there. I will do it. I am the cat bender. As long as she doesn't do what she did earlier today. Yeah, no, I fucking left the house and she started screaming. She No, she didn't start screaming. Courtney leaves the house to go to the gas station, which is a five-minute trip, and a minute and a half in, the cat starts stomping through the house like she's this fucking hippo on crack. Just brruh, 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 brruh. How loud can a five-pound cat be? Pretty be fucking, fucking surprised. And then she surprised. smashes into the bedroom and goes, Rails! Rails! Oh, and her Rails! Was she in heat? And her, no, she's been uh, fixed. But in her defense, a, she was raised by a pit bull, so she just like thinks she's big, so she just fucking throws raised herself Raised by around. a pit bull. Yeah, but Lily doesn't do yeah, that. She kind of thinks big. she's a dog, and she's oh, also yeah. an idiot. Lily's big without needing to be. It's not the cat's she, fault she's an she's idiot. Like she's kicked in the head so much. You make so many excuses for her. She hasn't been kicked in the head in a long time. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> the time she don't, was... Uh, don't advocate <laughs> animal abuse. She is. She's like, bitches talking about me. Fucking. No, we rescued her. We're not the head kicker. Yeah, I tried to get the smaller cat. This is the one I ended up with. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I tried to get the other kitten, and I couldn't get her. Well, I like my kids. This They're little assholes, but... Ass, non-glue, stick-it ass, motherfucker. Had to, uh, br- I had to take the cat kittens to uh, my parents because they got worms. Ew. I'm trying to quarantine them that way. I can clean up my place. Get all the spots where they like to lay and get rid of the worms. And so... Gotta get rid of them poo-poo crawlers. Poo-poo crawlers, because I... I've, this is the fourth time I've given them medication for it. They and don't so, get immune. Huh? Yeah, they're not... It's the same kind. Yeah. Well, the... I don't know if the parasite can become immune. Yeah. Because that's what it has to poison. Yeah. They can build up a uh, resistance if to If it's medication. not getting them out, then you're just going to keep uh, yeah. creating a tolerance. You just need to give a different brand. That's the thing, I don't know if, it, this is different. This, you know what you should do, just enter. <laughs> what? A, I just gotta reach shut in there and get you it. You should yeah, enter, like, dude, shut up. No, you what should. you do is you get yourself a nice, good straw, and you just, uh, you know, right, lube it up real good. I'm sorry, can I you, tell, tell my joke? You send it down the tunnel, and you just slurp them out one at a time. Okay, first of all, you're disgusting. Mine was funny. Alright. <laughs> I was gonna Ooh. say, introduce a stronger worm to fight off the other worms, you son of a bitches, but now it's not funny. I didn't. A stronger worm named Straw. <laughs> <laughs> what about. What, uh, fuck, what was that one video game with the <coughs> worm dude? Worm. Jim Worm? Worms? What? No, no. Worms W and D. No, there was one who was like a worm, <coughs> but he had arms and Earthworm legs. Jim. Earthworm Jim. Who's Tremors. So we gotta have. <laughs> We're not sending a tremor to my cat. Fucking ass blasters. <laughs> yeah, earthworm Jim, he's going to shrink down and get those worms. Dude, why are you petting her snoot? Because I'd like to pet your snoot. it's leathery. Leathery. She's got that it old lady like nose. It feels like my mom. It's <laughs> like my mom. Is that what you said? <laughs> leathery. Ooh, ooh, that damaged my foot bone. You probably did, you bitch. It feels smooth. Oh, kind of like fault. that taint. I was going to say it's the baby's fault for leaving her fucking toys around. Yeah, no joke, man. 
Like, I try to pick them up. But I'd just... rather step on Legos than some of the shit that's Dude. in this place. Yeah, I know. Um, I stepped on that green box earlier, and I thought I about died. I tried to sneak up with my children. giant building. No, like, one of them blocks get under a blanket, and you're just walking around <laughs> nice and casual, and you're like, Ah, oh, fucking God damn it! Jay, that's crass. Crass? Hmm? Did you say that's crass? Uh, no, I said Jay, that's crass. <laughs> oh. You know what, I think it still applies. That's crass. Not that much of a... Hey, do you care to turn the light out that's over the sink? You're using a lot of my electricity for no fucking reason, man. I think you turned it on. Shut up. You definitely turned it on while I was cooking. Yeah, ass hat. (laughs) He's not wearing one. (laughs) I don't think you're picking up too much. I was about to fucking scream it. I was gonna say, God, please don't. (laughs) Fetus. My feet is asleep. <laughs> My feet hurt. <laughs> Chris, I want some nice socks like that. Why don't you ever buy me? <laughs> My broken leg hurts. Bitch! How about them nice leather boots you just got? Oh, Steven, you haven't seen my boots. No. Move, bitch. No, I don't think I want to care about the boots. The power <laughs> of an excited woman. <laughs> to show off her boots. New shoes. Oh, shoes. fuck that. Shoes. Let's get, get some, some shoes. shoes. Let's get, get some shoes. shoes. These shoes roll. These shoes I suck. Like shoes. These shoes suck. These shoes suck. Fuck both of you. These shoes cost <laughs> you don't remember that song? That's a song? That's a song. Yeah. These shoes cost three. That was early YouTube. Oh, dear God. Shoes. <laughs> Pause it right here, play the song, and come back. <laughs> I think if we just talk while it's happening, you can play it now. Oh, fuck it. Just reach over okay. and get my phone. Where is your share? You're going to last. I, it's just I, I hear my hip I'm in love not with really. those. I see a DS. I straight up just got into a pose, and this motherfucker's not even paying attention. Did you hear me? I said, I'm, I'm actually fucking in love oh, with those. Oh, phone. They're nice, huh? Am I blind? I like the spikes. I see a phone right here. That's a phone. I, I, want, phones. I want taller oh, one ones. One of the phones is my phone. Is like phone. Is there duct tape? <laughs> Not my phone. Here's another phone. That's my phone. I, found two phones. I was trying to show off my shoes. I got into like a, a pose and everything. The seat shuffle is real. <laughs> <laughs> Playing musical chairs in this bitch. How does that make you feel? Oh my Fucking god. Fucking powerful. Let me step on you. Wait, wait, <laughs> where's my phone? Where's my phone? Ugh. Your mom, but it's only one. <laughs> wait, wait, could you could you get closer to the mic and say that last thing you said? No. <laughs> Can you give me the baby monitor? That was the last thing I said, technically. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm pretty sure the last thing you said was, let me step on you. <laughs> I need to look something up, because are those the exact ones that Patrick had in the Spongebob movie? No, those ones were taller. And oh, they didn't okay. have the spikes. And they were more fishnetty, weren't they? <laughs> Sorry, it's a courtesy of passing to the, the significant mm-hmm. other. You just bust ass. Oh. <coughs> I caught burped. Fuck. <coughs> Where? Well, what is this? That's everything. That's everything. Yes. Oh, yeah. what, he yeah, yeah. That's the potpourri. It's both. Neil Bullock. The potpourri. A little bit of that. Uh, it's, it's a little a bit of Jeffrey. this. Yeah, but no. I want some fucking eleven-inch platforms. These aren't big enough. Don't you have bad heels? Ankles? Ankles? Yeah. Shoes by Liam Kyle Sullivan. Dance monster. <laughs> Chris Cross. Look at that fucking wig. That face. Yes. You know, I bet you could fit these. What year did this guy come out? Oh my god. 15 years ago. Oh. 15 years ago. Attempt. Let's get some shit. Let's get some shit. Let's get some shit. Let's get some shoes. Let's get some shoes. <laughs> I tried one, but too long. <coughs> I oh can make god, it work. You got some time. Oh my god, shoes. Yes, I do. Shoes. These shoes are cool. I got time. These shoes suck. <coughs> These shoes suck. Okay, good. Now you need some clothes. Oh. These shoes suck. Uh, shoes. Remember when YouTube mm. was just new? Oh, mm. oh my god, shoes. So you've never heard this before. These shoes cool. Oh, it's like <laughs> the NFL <laughs> trash. It was, it was one, like the My uh, He era. No, that was just a full fucking bit. So I think well, I'm saying like it was at the same, uh, around the same time when like... Uh, Look at those facial expressions. Shut up! 
I was getting ready to say, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of my nice little outfits on. I'm going to make a video of me shit. stepping on the phone. Let's get some you know shoes. I mean? Wait, those aren't shoes, they're boots. Footwear. <coughs> Why are you just getting kicked in the taint with that? These shoes are like, it wouldn't hurt the balls. These shoes are three. And so I saw this video, and it was a dude standing on his hands. And he headbutted. Like, so dude's on his hands. So y'all can't see what the fuck's going on. Hold on, I'm sorry. No, I've already seen this. the video. Oh, Chris no. is like fucking seizing out beside me trying to dance. White, White people head. dancing. <coughs> White people fuck dancing. What are you doing, Ed? White people dancing. <coughs> White I'm people dancing. I'm experiencing life. <laughs> and now he's fucking stripping. His fucking inverted nipples are getting me going. It's just cold. <laughs> So that happened. <coughs> I think we can hopefully, kill it. Hopefully the audio quality is not too shitty on that. Cause <laughs> hopefully the audio quality is garbage on that. <laughs> Why does that bitch's headphones have eyeballs? Because she wants to look out of the, of the world. <coughs> Those are the lo-fi eyes. Lo-fi eyes? <coughs> yeah. Oh, they googly. Oh, my God. They googly dude. eyes. Did she always have those? Yeah. I don't know. I think they changed this. Like, unless it's just a different one. <coughs> Hey, bitch boy. Why are you so mean to me? This yeah. is real. Sorry. I, I, we'll, we'll kill that bit now. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Bro, I can't breathe. <coughs> me lungs. Hey, we can't all cough at once. That's yeah. a nightmare for them. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. I just pulled open Google. <laughs> Alright, I just pulled open Google. And check out this headline. Skyrim players hit... Scott hits level 100 in pickpocket and steals all of White Run's clothes. Yes. <coughs> do they have the nude mod? I wouldn't mind playing some Skyrim. No, nope. I did. If you have the you mod, really? if you have Not the mod, anymore. then you don't have to <coughs> steal their clothes. <coughs> yeah, here we go. Nude one. one mod that I always feel mandatory. It's still is, possible without mods. I'm sorry, but gotta be able to kill the kids. Oh my god. I'm, the kids sometimes Cody, need to die. Look, I don't feel, I don't care if I can't kill them, but I would I like to be able to them. damage like the, them. You can like elementary school get kids down to when it's all like shit and start killing them. Have you ever saw the show Utopia? That's satisfying no. enough for me. Like, I don't need to kill the it's children. Like, you know how, like, oh whenever you watch Harry Potter, you just want to punch your mouth in the mouth? Especially when he says, my father would hear about this. Even to the end, like, I was always kind of rooting for Malfoy in a way. Like, I like the character. In the end, sure, he wasn't such a bitch. I'm sorry. About, like, Early on, yeah, I know he was a point. little bitch. And you just wanted to punch him in the face. No, I kind of no? loved him. Uh. I like bad characters. <laughs> and that's why you he got likes bullied. bad boys. Bad boys? He was a whiny little pretentious cunt. <laughs> I said bad boys. <laughs> uh, he hangs upside down and used the echolocation to find. Or if you're playing Halo Park. Infinite, cat boys. <laughs> Like I, I, but on, 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 on that Skyrim players topic, like I, I know I already mentioned it earlier today, but uh, I want to talk about that fucking glitch I found, which, as I said, it's got some prerequisites, it seems like. But the, the, the thing is, like, it's a way to just easily grind out your alteration skill to max, if you so feel like it. I only did it for like 10 levels. Like, in alteration, not even 10 character levels, just like 10 skill levels. Why don't you just max it? Because I was still actively doing well let me let me let me say here's why for what i'm saying i was doing is uh i realized that i can run detect life permanently like even when i'm out of magicka and i i tested it here and there to figure out what the prerequisites are and i think what happened is you have to be a vampire okay and you have to be out in the sunlight. And I say that because I've tested this like in caves and in buildings and it never works. But you have to be a vampire and be in the sunlight. Excuse me, folks. We got a loud cougher here. Just mute it. Oh, my spot. Yeah, but I'm, 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 in, I'm in sentence. Just mute it. Fuck you. <laughs> so you want to talk about loud? Do we mute that? Well, we're gonna have to actually cut that out. Uh, Ooh. Uh, so it. who did this? Steven. It lost its third leg. <laughs> well, Chris broke it the first time, and then oh god, just, I was but finished. Uh, we'll be back in a moment, folks. Oopsie.
Yeah. And we are back. No, we're not cutting it yet. <laughs> we're cutting this again? What? No. I said we're not. Oh. Um, what? I believe <laughs> what I was saying was uh, to do the infinite alteration, you know, really just infinite casting on zero mana. You said you have to be a vampire, you have to be outside. You have to be a vampire light. and in the sun. And what you do is, like, I was using Detect Life, but it could be any spell. You know, I haven't tested it, but you could probably do it with any spell. Um, well, but what I, mean, I was using Detect, any spell that's a constant cast. Yeah, I mean, that you you were like, talking uh, about that flames. before uh, you, the fucking Before mic the, there, the mic tried to commit suicide. The fucking little goddamn The Incredibles fucking robot you got there, fucking... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, exactly. My little Incredibles robot, the blue snowball that's not blue. Um, we, uh, da, 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 da. what I would do is I would, you know, go ahead and cast Detect Life in my offhand, keeping a blade in one hand. Um, and I would run out to a point where it says, you know, no more Magicka, and it stops is you that casting. that you uh, posted? Yeah, yeah, and it would stop me casting. Um, but I would just spam the cast button a couple times, and then at, it would hit a point where it was, it was locked in at exactly one mana. And it I would don't just remember let me hold. oblivion enough to know what the fuck mana is. Just your magic counter. I like, played the shit out of it, but I don't remember. Skyrim. It's just any stats. Oh, that's like, Skyrim. Yeah, yeah. magic. I played the piss out of Skyrim. Magicka, no, mana. No, I don't remember. Mana is just the word for magicka yeah, in, in RPG life. I uh, fucking love the shit out of Elder Scrolls, and I don't even fucking know that. Did you not use any magic? I mean, I casted a little bit of fucking... Well, yeah, but that yeah, was the, the, blue bar. the blue bar. The yes. magic. Yeah. I would drain the magic bar. I just knew that as magic. And then I would keep spamming the spell. Like, Because really what I was trying to do was just keep casting it a little I, bit. I, I just knew that as magicka, not fucking mana. Yeah, mana's an old term for how much magic you have. Yeah, um, yeah mana is like the, the pool. Ah. Uh, yeah, your mana pool. Mana pool. How much magic you have available to you. The fucking manta ray. If um, only fucking Steve Irwin had yeah. more mana pool. I would <laughs> I would spam cast it, and I realized that I could get it cleric. to a point where it was just sitting at one one magic point, and it would let me hold the cast even though I was out. It, it should stop me, and it just doesn't. It locks it in at one, and I can just walk around the map. What I would do is, like, I got to my objective, and then I turned around and started walking in a different direction. So were you able to, re like, uh, recreate this? Yeah, I did it multiple times. Okay, outside and in the day. And I haven't tested if I can make it work at night outside, but I know I can't do it inside a cave or inside a building. But yeah, I could just walk, I would just walk around the map, running Detect Life, walking from un un undiscovered location to undiscovered location. All the while... I would, every minute or two, my alteration would level up. So, and to my benefit, I could still attack with my off, with my other hand. That's why I said I kept a blade in my hand. I could still attack with my other hand without stopping the cast. I wonder what happened if you tried casting it while walking into a cave. I already tried it. It, uh, it stops the cast when you uh, load in. Uh, and I, I cannot uh, get it to, to let me spam and work inside okay. a cave. Will not. But I mean, did you like? Did you look anything up on this? Like no, no. I just so, bumped yeah, into it. Something to put on, you know. Like, I just cheers. yeah. I mean, a separate video we can do here. Like, I just bumped into it. Like even when I took my phone out and sent you guys that little recording, I just happened to level up alteration in the first couple seconds after I started recording. But like as you can see, if you were paying attention to the video, my magic bar was drained, and I was just walking around with my hand up, leveling up alteration, and therefore leveling up my character while I was at it. Uh, so have you came up with any more game modes? Oh, um, um, do like we did like uh, uh let me let me find my uh my clicker. Was, uh, uh, I I feel like that was our best one. It's just I mean wild maybe not necessarily game modes. There, yeah, there was one. There was one. It's not a challenge. It's something I just I kind of wanted to make a jump cut edit style video with this. But as I mentioned, I also discovered that you can because you know as you find bear traps in the world, you can arm and disarm them just by clicking on them. <coughs> So yeah, I realized that you can. I realized that you can actually arm a bear trap, and then like any other item in the world, you can hold a, or the you can hold the action button on it, and you can pick up that bear trap. And the way the Throw bear somebody. the way the bear trap is programmed in that game, if it touches with a character, any any PC NPC, it, it closes. And I realized that you can arm it pick it up, and walk slowly over to someone and hit them with it, and it'll actually, if you hit them with the front side of it, if you hit them with the back, nothing happens. Logical. But it can, you can actually walk up to someone and clamp them with a bear trap, and they don't get hostile. 
So realistically, we could find a bear trap, walk it into one of these smaller towns that don't require you to go through a gate, and potentially attempt to murder the entire town with a bear trap. <laughs> <laughs> Falling in love with this idea? Uh, no, I mean... Like first with that, but think about the video. We get to we get to fast edit. Fucking, oh, you know, we get to edit the the moment forward. where we pick it up and slap a follower in the face well, with it. If we're talking about this. I mean, then what's the yeah. point of watching the it video? Shit. Yeah, because they get to enjoy watching it. But we, you know, we, we get to slap a follower with it and then get that ding moment. And uh, we will then do like a, a sped up edit of us walking it into town with probably moments where we fuck up and drop it or get attacked and like get, we get pissed off. The, the humor in getting it to town, and then we get into town, and we just start at the fucking front gate guard. And try to hit the front pink, gate guard. Pink, pink. Just keep trying to pick up a, a bear trap and hit him with it, and see if we can't do it fast enough to kill someone before they regenerate. Like, Y'all will will those, it make uh, aggressive? Not to my knowledge, because you're not shit, touching yeah. them. You're just hit, they're just getting hit with a bear trap. <laughs> I want to do this. Okay. Y'all try to, to kill yeah. everybody. I want to try yeah. to murder an entire town in broad daylight with a bear trap. I'm, I'm down. I will look up where to find the first, uh, or the, where the easiest way to find the trap. Uh, yeah, the, I've, I've noticed, like, there's some traps in a cart next to some tower somewhere, like a watchtower or something. It's pff, out of my memory where it is, but we can find easy. a bear trap on, on the map. So do we just want to Google it and make it quicker, or do you want to actually run around trying to find it? We could we could probably Google find a location to find a bear trap outside. Like, that might save us some time, obviously. But, uh... Yeah, I think that's so fun. Another one I would just do would just be a quick bit. It could realistically go in the same video. I want to recreate the scene where uh, Jim Carrey in Ace Ventura 2, <laughs> Pet Detective, ha- feels the need to do the slinky down that, like, great stairs from the Monk Temple. <laughs> you know, the you know he does Wait, the bit where he sings the slinky theme song. Slinky, so gonna... slinky. I want to grab, like, a bucket or something and just go to a big staircase and try to get one solid roll where the item goes all the way down the stairs and play that Jim Carrey track while while well, you do it. if you do, it. like, the show, just the low form of it, you might be able to just push it nicely. Push the what now? No, use a cauldron. A cauldron? Oh, yeah, because it's, and... it's mostly a ball? Mm-hmm. And I it'll make a nice be, sound. I think that would be the best one to try. And then, you know, we get the... Go, Slinky, with, go! Just make sure you kill the Frost Roll. <laughs> he might stop the Slinky and it won't be fun. Have you oh. ever seen the uh, Skyrim edits where they fucking, like, put movie fucking scenes into it? There's one where it's, uh, what your fucking, like, 11th playthrough feels like. And it's fucking, uh, goddamn, what's his name? Uh, Forrest Gump. Yeah. And he's just <laughs> running... Just running, it just plays him right fucking through running through, like, white yeah. run, running through the fucking woods. Oh, yeah, no, I feel that. That's like after you've played Bloodborne once or twice, or just leveled up a couple times, and, like, you know, you spend two hours trying to navigate the first real zone and mm. kill everyone in your path, and then you get start to get good at the game, and you realize, just run past them and kill the boss and progress the game. <laughs> You don't need to grind on those little fuckers and take pointless hits and shots and waste a bunch of time not accomplishing anything real. <laughs> you just go around them and get yourself a better spawn point. <laughs> like, that's a Dark Souls fi- fact you just eventually learn. Run to the spawn, then kill your enemies. <laughs> get that checkpoint, bitch. <laughs> so, here's just a meme I wanted to share. Jarl Balgruf the Greater, I need your help. I need to trap a dragon in your palace. So would you go run up to his bed and wake him up in the middle of the night? No <laughs> fucking thing. Hey man, I need to trap a dragon in dragon? your palace. No fucking thing. <laughs> you. Man, you just wake it up to that. <laughs> would you believe it at first? It's like... Yeah, well, it's then. like, uh, wait, uh, dragon is this, No, <laughs> is this one of those wake up from a dream and be in a dream? <laughs> With the gods, who knows? Fucking uh, Shagagorth, what are Dude, you doing? Dude, if you think that shit, you're like Dragonborn. No, I did a run recently. I'm still in that one technically, but I did my run recently where I didn't. I didn't pick a side in the war. I didn't even like fuck. With, I hadn't even met the Yarrow of White Run yet, and I got to the point where I needed to hold a high council meeting between both sides of the war, like the dip- diplomatic fucking council. And I go to fucking, I, I gotta go to the Jarl and I'm like, I need you to make this happen. <laughs> it's like, we're gonna talk about peace until these dragons are gone. I didn't unlock the And then I just walk, it, yeah, and then right after that, I just, I just walk into his castle and it's like, I just used him as a fucking diplomatic middleman. Then I kick in his doors and it's like, hey, we catching a dragon. 
<laughs> and he's just like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> See, I don't like doing the Civil War. For I think we discussed this one point, my political religion. Oh, because reason. of where you are an Argonian? Mm -hmm. You and have Talos no is care at all. A fucking piece of shit. I don't care. I know you identify as a Nord. So you're a Talos <laughs> so worshiper. I'm not saying I'm... Uh, we have a Talos worshiper, someone who don't give a fuck, and I'm a high elf who thinks that Talos is a false god. I have a god. Now, I'm not Thalmor level. Like, I don't think everyone should be punished and killed for wanting to worship Talos. I just think your beliefs are false and unfounded. There's only one true god, and you cannot prove me wrong, or you cannot tell me any differently. Mara. Anybody else is a piece of shit. But Mara's just a Daedra. She's a god. What did you... No, she's a uh, Nadra. She's Nadra. Hmm. Yeah, she's one of the. No, because the Aedra can't. I don't know. I like. Fuck. Uh, I like this. Because uh, I thought the Aedra can't. No, it... I don't think she's an Aedra. I like doing the Civil War shit. It's the only time I actually. Uh... Mara is a goddess of love, marriage, and her big thing is love those who love. Hate those who hate. Yeah, and destroy but she's those not an love. Aedra. She's just considered the only Daedra who isn't evil. I. I want to say she is an Aedra. No, that's Google. a Skyrim loading screen fact. I'm telling you. I'm like sitting on hundreds of hours consistently recently. I'm on my like third run this in the last four months. I liked the uh, the Civil War shit. It was the only time I could actually fucking have like large scale battles. I no, it's that. fun. It's fun. I like defending and I like I, t I, t I fucking sacked White Run this time, but <laughs> I let my side be chosen for me. Last run I was playing an Imperial, so I was like, okay, I'm joining the Imperials. Yeah. Hands down, it's just gonna be how it is. This run I'm I'm playing modded, so I'm playing a Dramora, so I mainly just like obey all Daedra and do whatever I want. Yeah, but. Because I like to place myself a character laws. For example, I in my last two runs, actually, I refuse to steal unless it is solely mission-based and toward a, a, a goal that I actually care about. Like, I don't just steal because someone asked me to. I only steal in this run for the Thieves' Guild and only for yeah. missions. And uh, in the last run, I was almost a thief for nothing except important missions that I felt the need to be done. But I am never carrying stolen items on my person. And it feels nice to just always be like, uh, yeah, I'll pay off the guard, because I sit on my money. I'm always sitting at 11 plus fuck thousand. Fuck that. I'm in the Dark Brotherhood. I'm in the Thieves Guild. Just fuck all morals. <laughs> no, no, like, I was a, I was Dark Brotherhood, but I, anytime I got in any trouble, I'd just pay off the guard, and or pay off the... I didn't even pay off the guard. Usually it was cheaper to just pay the fine. Oh, no, for me, it's like the Hound in Game of Thrones. I don't get, I don't get caught murdering. If I get caught for something, it's small. Like, when, 50 bucks. No. But I just pay it, and they're like, come with me. We'll take any stolen goods and send you on your way. I'm like, bitch, I ain't got no stolen goods. I don't steal. I do. I just murder. You ever, you ever use <laughs> a bucket no, technique I'm... to steal? What now? You ever use the bucket technique to steal? No. no. I feel like I've heard of it. You just put a bucket yeah. of cauldron over their head, and then... They, they like, have no visibility? In. No, no I just mine, actually mine. am good at stealth. I will sit there and reload and save. Like, if I see a pricey item, something like 70 80%. I'm not risking it because I know I'm going to have to murk it. Now, I save so. buffer before I break into a door in public because I make sure, like, I got that little time frame where you're not spotted. And I'll, I'll save before I go in the door because if you get spotted going in the door, you're fucked. Like, if someone inside spots you and you oh, don't yeah. want to deal with that legal trouble, like, you just take the load and fucking don't open the door for a little bit. Yeah, no, I just do I'm... a quick save and... Get that real big thing that way. Get like I don't steal from the poor people, just mostly from the yar yarls or whatever, and take all their goods. And if, just if it says way. take, I'll take it. But if it says steal, I don't care if that's a pile of gold. I don't touch it. Mm. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like it's the fun. fucking hound from Game of Thrones and that shit. Like, Have you ever killing is the sweetest thing there is. No. So I, have you I, ever I like, self I like fucking, uh, have you ever Dark done, Brotherhood. Have you ever done self-imposed rules like that in an RPG? Even little stuff, like... I had a uh, orc that was like a fucking Dremora that I made up one time. Oh, uh, one fucking, thing. Well, Yeah, what was the self-imposed rule? Just fucking kill everything. I don't fucking know. See, now I'm talking like, uh, for example, I play Fallout sometimes, and I in my first start in the game, I'd... I mean, like, like, you know, I will put myself at the handicap of, I will not steal. Yeah, something like, no, literally, like, pick up an eight ball off the pool table in the first spawn house, and be like, I will never get rid of this eight ball this entire game. No. Like, little dumb stuff, or like, 
dumb rules like I refuse to steal. Period. Uh, I'll put I'll it this way: me and my brother, when we played uh, Fallout Three, we were just fucking around. We decided to take all the items we could fucking find, steal, or, and or otherwise just take shit. Um, Go into this room of the fucking house with like an inventory of like five million motherfucking large items and then drop it all and crash that mm-hmm. fucking game. Jesus. The gill fucking freeze and is like, no, sorry, I don't know what you did to uh, this disc. Yeah, no, you want to talk about fucking with well, someone. See, that could be a handicap is everybody who, or you start a game and you're a kleptomaniac. You search everybody's pockets, and anytime you find something over 50% risk chance, you take it. Me and my brother, we <laughs> put ourselves... Have to kill run. <laughs> I guess we put ourselves at the handicap of, we will break this game. We will break this game, period. <laughs> I break my games. But no, I, uh... <laughs> you know I break games. You tried to sit down and play Halo Infinite with me, and I and I created a false spawn point that was, it was eternal death. Well, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Y'all haven't <laughs> watched much Halo. on uh, Halo Infinite, uh... The bugs are not a new thing to it. As a matter of fact, speedrunners have a way to play, like to beat the game yeah, in like five fucking minutes or something. Uh, yeah, no, bugs and speedruns are why that there are categories called glitchless and no glitch. Have you seen what they fucking do? You know, Those goddamn cool fusion cores. Well, that's a single player game. They right? fucking yeah. At, at the moment, they but didn't even have fucking co-op well, at launch. So bug, I do not complain about bugs in games as long as they're not. Game breaking Skyrim oh, bugs. I love guys, because I can exploit them to my benefit. But guys, here's the thing: those fusion cores <laughs> in Halo Good Infinite, bugs. those fusion cores are actually uh, a secret fucking other vehicle. Because if you yeah, jump you on top of this. one and you harpoon it or whatever the fuck, you get launched into the fucking stratosphere. Oh, I bet you'd enjoy a. Uh, uh, not <laughs> in no way uh, caring that I'm kind of promoting someone else here. Uh, Achievement Hunter. You know, oh the Rooster my Chief god, Channel. I fucking love them. Um, I haven't really watched them that much since. I think uh, it's Ray Michael. Left, I think it's Michael and Gavin. I never watched. They're playing yeah. a cursed Halo run. Oh my god! Where I it's love super modded Gavin and, and the shit out of Michael. Oh, it's stupid. It's so highly modded in the most ridiculous ways. Like there's a I'm just stretch, a there's a stretch warthog, videos. and they've also got a. Uh, a tiny version of the warthog. It's like like one of those Ooh, little cars yes. that the kids buy. Have you seen dee, dee, dee. the other one the with sniper the colossal rifle. hog? Yeah, I've seen it. Where it's like the size of a fucking moon coming down at the fucking map. But uh, this thing's so modern. Like every the like, different insane kind of things. Like, the Imagine regular the war- the frag oh. grenade is a D20 grenade Imagine, that has 20 I don't know, different uh, possible Imagine effects. a war- this, is, uh, this is all new guys. Okay, imagine a Humvee. Imagine that like limo. An old war Except five million fucking seats long. So wide or just long? Long. What? Oh, they did Fuck wide it. too. I mean, if Ma, see, and like I said, they had the fucking tell you blinks, fucking kill all the dinosaurs, fucking meteorite of a warthog coming down. So one thing I was wanting to ask, so where Sony is talking about bringing their shit to? Or chicks alone. <laughs> That's what took it away. Water. If if games are on Steam, they they're open to mods, right? Yeah. Like any games, or is it like they're game it? Because if they're talking about bringing like God of War and Bloodborne <coughs> to PC, yes, people will mod it. I would love a fucking modded Bloodborne, just hmm. to see what people can do, make like other people's levels and shit. I remember like, and we need to play the uh, since we have never experienced the uh, a, tr- a modded Bloodborne with a true no hit run. If you take a single hit, game over. No, we can't do that. I was always that sounds but cool, but we can't everything do else that. is a everyone's a one hit, including the enemies. If I hit them, then I win. If you hit, if they hit an enemy, they die. Bosses not included. You have to fight a boss with skill. Well, now, fucking ten fucking years ago, I played the shit out of Fallout. I remember wanting to mod in it, but it was like I was a, you know, console. If you just always. set weapon damage high enough that no standard enemy can survive it, and then they finally added uh, they mods to fucking Fallout Four and about shit myself. Bosses I did still like take the mods in Fallout hits. Four. Mo- the, For but console, I too. used. I used it for cleaning the game, like the bramble that's everywhere. Yeah. I used that, like getting rid of that shit. Did you do the greenery one? Yeah, to make it a little bit better. Cause it felt like fucking Chernobyl. I tried to enhance See, Skyrim, and I had the lag not, killed me. Okay, here's a topic me and him tried to have, but then we came in, we smoked, <laughs> uh, we got hydrated, and <laughs> call back, uh, <laughs> and we kind of got off topic. But my thing is, in Fallout, 
Yeah. Like, the whole thing is nuclear war. Yeah, and we're kaboom like, Post-nuclear yeah. war. Post-nuclear war. Hundreds Post of years. Post-a-night after fucking like Taco Bell. years after that. And I started doing research on nuclear weapons, and supposedly, there's not supposed to be that much radiation. No, that radiation no, actually doesn't like, persist that long. It's it just still there, but during... the main thing with nuclear bombs, most of them, they're made to detonate in the air, not actually when they fucking hit. Yeah. That way that minimizes yeah. fallout. But, we don't know what kind of nukes the Chinese or the U.S. used. Either one could have fucking done the fucking asshole trick of making it hit the ground first and having a lot more radiation. Have or we? they could have even salted the nuke and make it even more fucking Question. radiation. Has there ever been a Fallout game positioned in like a non-North South American uh, region? Like No. No. It's all yeah, been the USA. We don't know how other countries fare. Yeah, I'm I actually curious heard, now. Like, yeah. Are there actual shit. countries that did survive it? No. I've always thought about that shit. Listen, like you India think or Vault something. Tech didn't have a hand in it? There's Not my point. You're saying there's I mean, another there bit survivors. of lore that says the aliens had the fucking hand in it. Who there are that? aliens. There are aliens. Yes. Wait, wait. Is that you can, canon? You can 100% canon. encounter. Can in? They have Fallout 3. And it's in New Vegas, canon. you can directly encounter not an canon. alien no, follow, with the wild... New Vegas is not canon. Oh my god! Because it's not Bethesda. It's Yes, it is. Yes, it is. No. New... It's Bethesda. both the same publishing, no, not the same people that made it. Yeah, it's Obsidian. Obsidian it's still, is under yes, Bethesda. I'm pretty sure... Like Rockstar is under Take Two. I, I want to say like, one and two. I, I have no knowledge on whether Vegas or not it's... Supposedly are the same timeline, but three, four... And seventy six. I'm mean, a fucking me character. Are, okay, but what about ones? Brotherhood of Steel? Imagine or fucking uh, like Rick Grimes from it fucking on who, who was the creator? Because the one and two was one company that went under. Uh, Bethesda bought it, made their own version of it, made three games themselves, and then for New Vegas, they gave the rights to a new company, Obsidian, which is just that other company re- restructured. I had most of the team for it. And the thing is, it was fucked up. So one fact people, uh, a lot of people know about Bethesda is they made a, a deal with Obsidian that if they get like a 95% yeah. score, 90, something like that. It was that they did it in a certain amount of time too. See, I don't know about the amount of time, but I know the uh, they as long as they get a certain high score, like 90%, then they'll be allowed to make another game and get so much of the profits. What, in ratings? Or... Yeah, in ratings. They cut them off in and profits, You man. can swing ratings. You could pay someone to fudge a number. I'm trying to remember exactly what the rating was. Oh, no, they actually did it. They did good. They No, they made it like 89%, and Bethesda wouldn't give it to them. Oh, they were like cool. at that threshold, and Bethesda was like exactly what I'm saying. You can make there. sure they didn't hit that mark. You're telling yeah. me a corporation like that couldn't handle that? Oh, yeah, oh Todd Howard, don't sue us, Bethesda. We're we just speaking hypotheticals here. Don't, don't give us 16 it. times the detail, please. Like, I'm, I'm a daddy working all on his I own. I love you, Todd. I don't want to get political, but I, I feel like this is a good topic since we're on here. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about Microsoft acquiring oh. Activision? I don't give a fuck. Tell me what this entails. I, it is Microsoft, one company that has bought in the last two years. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I don't remember how many. I know for a fact it's bought at Bethesda and Activision. Yes. It has bought other big names. Yeah, um, but this it is, is a that, company that is trying to just this monopolize. Really, no, no, doesn't just this mean we're going to get more Xbox exclusives? It does, sure, but it's still the hypothetical... Oh. How, how you feel about one corporation owning so many things. I think it's, it's irrelevant. They can make I all the AAA inevitable. titles they want, but there are still so many indie game creators out there who get so much fame thanks to the internet, I YouTube, think... Twitch... All of that, that there's always going to be competition in one way or the other. I think Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. Uh, Y'all know the game where you play as like a fucking dot that consumes other dots and gets bigger and bigger and bigger? Like a, That's uh, companies. It's just inevitable. Or, uh, something, Dotto. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just inevitable. That's what companies Germio. do. They eat other ones and grow bigger. Yeah. And eventually they're going to get too big and have to get broken up because... Legally, they're not yeah, we don't know the to... ceiling of this shit. No, you no, just you cor- just split into subdivisions. That's how corporations do is because they get so big and then there's they get nothing to actually really. stop their growth. Google will become um, the fucking Illuminati yeah, and, and own in Earth. America, you can't, the corporations have a threshold before they get too big before they have to get broken up. 
into separate corporations because mega corporations are not allowed. Okay, but That's most of this is based on the idea that you can't have a monopoly, right? Yes. Then why is it that there are legal, you know, written laws that prevent any um, licensed car dealership to be within range of another one by so many miles? That has to be within? They cannot be. Every car dealership gets their territory. Okay, so that might be some kind of law that was written in because of some shady... Uh, so probably Ford. I mean, he was a rich motherfucker, probably had connections. He probably... But what I'm saying is, all it takes is the right money in the right pocket. Yeah. And the laws will help the company. They'll probably just break up into subdivisions. That's what I said. They'll just create subsidiaries. You know, this is a company (laughs) which is part of this father company, which is part of this mother company, or... You know, and then Granddaddy Gates is sitting up there uh, counting stacks. At least... I'm not going to try to compare this to many other things, but... At least when it comes to video games, for right now, Xbox can't truly become a monopoly because we can always refuse to just play Xbox. Yes. We can stop playing Xboxes and make laptops. That's computers. saying you can always just not buy a car at a real dealership. See, car. Well, then, I, the, then where are the used car lots going to get their supply from? That's a whole different monster because the car dealership sh- industry is shady. Okay, to me mattresses. Because of the fact that you can't. Well, I guess you can. Do you know anything one. about mattresses? No. There's only about I three. Three like the main companies that actually control mattresses. There's only about three of them that okay. like really control it across all of America, huh. and each one. Like, if you want to make your own mattresses, they're only very specific suppliers. So, the companies that supply them to the sort that sell them, monopolize. And the companies that sell the products to create them, monopolize. And on top of that, you can go to two mattress stores five minutes away from each other. And see the same mattress and not be able to compare prices because they'll put different names on them. Probably be the same kind. It is exactly the same but you just got Serta Sleepomatic and you got Serta Super Sleep. But Looks they're the, the same, same fucking the mattress. They're yeah. just at different stores and you can't compare price. Well, that's not any different than a lot of the other industries. When you look into like the food industry, there's only about like 20 of them. Like 20 cor- I think it's a Yeah, corporations like that own every Arby's, food. McDonald's, no, Taco no, 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 Bell. Not fast food. I'm talking about stuff you'd buy in the store, Tostinos, mm-hmm. suppliers, uh, Betty Crocker. Uh, you can you it, can think that there's things preventing monopoly, but all they're really doing is making sure that the small ones on the bottom, you know, the idiots don't really notice that it's all coming from the same place, and it doesn't really matter where you go. And one thing I recently learned is about uh, external manufacturing. I don't think that's the right term, but uh, where corporations like Walmart, uh, Subway can buy product to be made in a factory slap their label on it and be shipped to it uh, the like dr M- dr pepper or for walmart version dr thunder whatever it's all from the same company <laughs> you could it go can and be get... the, the the secret is they have different ones so like kroger's doesn't have the same one they get theirs from a different factory that's why it's different but if you go to somewhere like midwest and there's a big bear or whatever <laughs> it's probably the same thing as Kroger. The kind of bear. Like, Walmart probably has its own kind of Whichever color. kind you prefer. I wrestled a bear once. Did we get a little too heady for you? I think it's a uh, polar bear, <laughs> if I remember the... That's Coca-Cola. I no, want to say, logo. going back to the fucking lore of Fallout, by the way... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Please continue. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to fucking say this earlier. I got talked over. Yo, you just <laughs> gotta learn to get in there. But, uh... Oh, I've tried, God damn it. Try harder. Hey, I stopped whenever you guys talk about Halo. It's like, you guys got you. Yeah. I mean. I've had this thought on my mind, though. But the, oh, Mars and Adria. With the, the lures. <laughs> Fuck off. The lures <laughs> shit. Yes. I just made my own fucking character. Imagine Rick Grimes, but female and goth, and that's basically fucking me. And it's kind of like the fucking... Like, Fallout 3 is, you know, I was born in the fucking vault, raised all that shit, have to leave the vault, have to become a fucking badass to survive, and then, you know, whatever the fuck. Yeah. Or Mojave Desert. Mojave. 
Mojave. And, uh, you know, Mojave. being the courier, being shot in the fucking head, still surviving, still being this badass. And With the crater. And then, you know, like, fucking five, another five years, which little, is... Uh, I don't think they're the bear, the Yaguai. Another five years. I They're not in New Vegas. Vegas. I end up in fucking, what was it? I don't remember where the fuck Fallout fucking before it took place. But, yeah, I just, I all, I just connected all of, all three of those fucking games are canon for me. I like made my own with? character shit. See, that's okay. That's that's okay to make your own lore. That's what he was talking about earlier. Yeah. Like, you, you cross your own characters through different games. You like, know it would be a totally new strategy like for me? better that way. I, it'd be a totally new strategy for me to make a character that refuses to believe in the idea of stealth. I used to like because making to different wild. fucking Never characters. attempt to sneak attack, never crouch up to anything well, or you anyone. Have, you have to crouch in one part of the game. I used to like sneak. making... Uh, when you're going in the mansion, different you have type. to sneak around. What mansion? Uh, the High Elf mansion. Oh, uh, uh, the Thalmor? Yeah. Nah, uh, you can fight. I, I, I didn't. Think, uh, I didn't know that. But yeah, I, you can kill him. I went quiet because I had to get bee stuff. I, used I don't remember to, why, but I needed like honey and shit. I used to like making different fucking kinds of no, characters. This one is only Dave's Guild. This one is only this. This one is a fucking guard, even. And then the fucking Jamora one, I fucking told you. Mm-hmm. But I don't. I don't know. I have to, to fucking actually get immersed and connect with the fucking character. I have to make myself anymore. I have a, a mission. Has everybody found all 24 uh, strange gyms? No. No, but I, I have... Courtney has so, installed the mod to locate, like, give some quest markers. Okay. I refuse to use it. So here we go. Yeah. So survival, hardcore, yeah. master, whatever. It's just survival mode. And you just have to find all 24. And time it. Yeah, like, try to see... Do we get mode. markers? I don't want to use markers. I think it's just fast exploration. There's these one fucking guy. Can you? I remember where some of them are. I yeah, like but challenges. You're asking a lot. Shit. I really don't have locations memory. I know certain I, okay, ones. You I just like, know they're there. Use, we can use the markers on the, that. Use that mod since we're already having a handicap because like, it's. I say one life. Okay. Hardcore. See, I was wondering, like, yeah, the handicap. If if no one travel. life is a little tight because when you turn on survival mode, there is no fast travel. You can only level up like when you rest. You have to keep food and water. I used to like I, challenges. I think that would be the shit. challenge. Is one Don't life. die, go get all the stones. There's this yep. one fucking and you have channel. To drink, right? Yeah. There's this one channel I watched that in would Halo. you take the challenge? No. You don't want to take that challenge? I mean, I can. We can I was saying, that's just something we can do for, for yeah. We could do it for a run. But, um, oh, I I want, there's Actually, this yeah, one let's, fucking let's channel thought. where they would do different fucking challenges and shit. Like weird shit. Like Halo 3, the end, where you're supposed to do the Warthog run. Do that shit on foot. And they actually fucking did it somehow. See, I like the shit like that. That's what we're trying yeah. to do with hey, those I've seen it done on a yeah. lasso run, and that's almost impossible. I like... Oh, yeah. I like that shit, though. I fucking... I, I would love to do a lasso. I halos on the, uh, the usual hardest Could we do Halo 2 lasso? Yeah. I, lasso shit. means legendary, all skulls on. I didn't do that, skulls but I beat are it on thing. legendary. Skulls are a thing. Legendary is the difficulty. Yeah. Skulls are a thing you find, like, hidden skulls in a map. You have Added to pick it up and carry top. it to the end of the game. Like, in Left 4 Dead, carrying Noam Komsky. Yeah. You know, you know no, what I'm talking about? Have, remember, I didn't have an Xbox 360, so I didn't you were, too much. Oh. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, but yeah, that was like, like you had yeah, to get, you had to find the skull. You enlightened by the Xbox You had to find the skull and reach the end of the game carrying it. I was PS2 for a long time. You and know, if you race. did that, and not the game at the end of the level. And I became all for the fucking Xbox. Just end the level. Yeah, you had to just finish the level carrying the skull. And the skull replaces your gun. Yeah. So mostly just punching still, bitches. Yeah, you melee. You can drop it and switch to a weapon, but... See, that's another thing for but, Fallout we can do is a challenge using the Death Claw or Death Claw. The thing Gauntlet, is, is like, Death Claw, Gauntlet. that's the yeah. point of Lasso is you're, you turn, you get all the skulls, that's not you activate though. every single one of them, which creates ridiculousness and lots of it's increased difficulty, of course and then you turn on the max difficulty. That weapon was broken, and I found out like at level 40, it was so broken that I beat a high, higher level Death Claw. There is it would have the star on it There's... with its own... Claw. Favorite uh, accomplishment: boxing a death claw there, and winning. Hold on, there is one more suit. The Rocky. Do thing. either of you all nah. want it? No, I'm not. I don't like potato soup. I'm gonna eat the shit out I've of it. I've had way too much. Of all right, well, soup. we're gonna let them enjoy their soup, and we're gonna call this one and set up for uh, an actual game recording. I want Skyrim. It sounds like it might be Skyrim, folks. We will okay. see you next time. I love you.
Goodbye. What the fuck?